Welcome to It's Supernatural with Robin Show, where we share personal experiences and scriptures on how you can walk in the supernatural. The show is mixed with off-grid living, toxic-free lifestyle, and a touch of politics. Join our host today for today's podcast, and remember, it's natural to be supernatural. I just wanted to share with you really quick how to hear from the Holy Spirit. The best way I describe hearing from the Holy Spirit is you have to trust the Holy Spirit is called our teacher and our guide, and you have to trust that you hear from the Holy Spirit. That small, still voice that you hear is not your own conscience, it's the Holy Spirit. And when you begin to practice hearing from the Holy Spirit, you will hear more from the Holy Spirit. So basically, the Word of God says that the more you focus on something as you believe in your heart, you are, and the more you um, you reap what you sow. So if you practice hearing from the Holy Spirit, then you'll hear more from the Holy Spirit. And I started by by I started that way. I started by. Um, just saying, okay, I'm thinking of a scripture, but I don't know what verse it is. So, Holy Spirit, show me what book of the Bible it's in. And then I would go to the first image or thought that came to my mind would, would be a book of the Bible. And I'd go there and I'd look. And so that's how I practiced hearing from the Holy Spirit by asking him whenever I thought of a particular scripture and didn't know where it was instead of looking it up in the Strong's Concordance. I would say, Holy Spirit, what book is that? What chapter? What verse? And then I began to hear his voice and trust him more and more that every time I heard him, that it would be him. And sometimes I miss it because, you know, we're not perfect. But practice hearing the Holy Spirit by asking him whenever you think of a verse or a scripture or something Jesus said or somebody said in the Word of God. Ask the Holy Spirit, now you're my teacher, and I'm going to trust that you're inside of me and teaching me, so where is that at? And don't use the concordance, and take your time, and just keep every time an image, a thought, a scripture, a number comes in your mind, write it down and go look. And then after a while, if you can't find it, look it up in the Strong's, and that way you build up your trust in hearing from the Holy Spirit. And it really gets a lot of fun doing that. And, and so that's, that's my advice to the people that are saying, how do you know you hear from the Holy Spirit? How do you hear from the Holy Spirit? Well, the more you look at the Word of God, the more revelation pops out at you. Uh, the more, I mean, I can take one sentence of the Scripture and I can study on that one sentence for years and get revelation out of it. It, it is just so much fun. It's like a giant puzzle, an everyday interactive puzzle is what it's like having a relationship with Jesus. Robin Bremer is a best-selling author, a publishing coach, and a business developer. She has written over 50 books and published and promoted many other authors' books to the bestseller status. She got her start by paying almost $2,000 to publish her first book. She also had to pay $12 a book and buy a box of books. This is the same story of many other authors who just paid too much. After publishing her own books for years, her passion is to help other authors be successful in writing, publishing, and promoting without emptying their wallet or purse. She does this through her podcast called Self-Publishing Bestseller, Hints, Tips, and Interviews. To learn more or to start the publishing process of your own book, go to www.robinbremer.net. That's R-O-B-I-N-B-R-E-M-E-R dot net. Uh, to get revelation out of the word, uh, pick something that speaks to you. Like right now, I, well, in the past couple of years, I've been on the putting on the whole armor of God, and I've gotten awesome revelation on that. And I'd go for a walk, and I'd pray in tongues. And I just meditate on one word at a time in the scripture that talks about putting on the whole armor of God. And then God would put p different scriptures together, and I'd study on that. I wrote several books on that, and on the Lord's Prayer, and, and stuff like that. And He would make it pop out, and it would become alive to you. So what you focus on, you get more of. When I was studying about walking in the supernatural things of God, I would see more of what I was studying. When I was studying about 
um, uh, the clouds and the angels. I would see clouds and angels. Everywhere I go, I see them. They are so cool and so fun. When I study on communion, everything that happens around my life, everything I see and hear relates to communion. So the more you focus on the word the more you trust that the holy spirit is your teacher by the way trust the holy spirit to speak to your kids and and that your kids hear the holy spirit because they can hear the holy spirit when you take away from them their imagination you're taking away from them the connection to the spirit realm and we are all spirits oh uh, and we have a body and we have a soul and so don't take that imagination away from your kids in fact become like a little kid and have imagination trust that you're hearing from the Holy Spirit no matter how silly it is begin to keep a journal when you begin to keep a journal of the little things that the Holy Spirit has done for you the little supernatural things and you go back and you review them it opens up the door the window the gate whatever for you to experience more so when you write it down you can experience more it's it's a secret sort of <laughs> the more you focus on something you write down the events that happened in your life that get out of here be shoot Jesus name go that relate to the Holy Spirit the more you'll have that so that's just my little tidbit on how to hear from the Holy Spirit how to get more out of the Word of God the Word of God is 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 love poems love stories love relationship with God it reveals who God is and we need the word but we also need the Holy Spirit or he wouldn't have given it to us so you have to trust the Holy Spirit and of course everything will balance with the word but not everything is written in the word and you just have to trust that you have a relationship with the Holy Spirit and that you're hearing and that your kids hear the Holy Spirit so that's my suggestion my advice I hope it really helps you and if you like this video share it with your friends and your social media site my website is robinbeamer.net if you're an author uh, I publish books for Christian authors check out my site and so on if you want to write a guest post um, that might be something available to you anyway I do have to go to the store I have been stuck out here for hours looking at the clouds and the hosts of heaven and taking pictures because they are they were revealing themselves big time and I had to get some pictures I tried to take videos for you all and I posted one but in the middle of it I stopped to take pictures <laughs> Uh, okay, so have a blessed day. And remember, the Word of God says it's the grace of Jesus Christ. So walk in that grace. The communion of the Holy Spirit. Walk in that fellowship with the Holy Spirit and the love of God. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining us for today's podcast. If it was a blessing to you, please consider financially supporting us by clicking on the Sponsor This Podcast button. Any links mentioned in this podcast will be listed below along with any affiliate products, services, or partner websites. If you enjoyed this podcast, please share it with your social media site and remember, it is natural to be supernatural.